Hello, I'm Toy Cat, and let's be honest, there is always more that you can learn about the world. For example, did you know this is a list of every country that has a stint as a socialist nation? Uh, the darker red it is, the more it's been socialist, and the lighter green it is, the more it's kind of uh, on the edge about socialism. It's an incredibly interesting map, but what else is incredibly interesting is the bunch of geography uh, quiz websites that you can go to. This is where you can test yourself on all sorts of things, from world map without countries, to the US states, to every country country in the world, and one of my big shames is I don't think I can name every country in the world. So today, we'll be going through a lot of random quizzes, I don't know what it's going to give me, but first things first, we're going to test ourselves on the Africa map, because this is there are two places in the world I feel like everyone gets tripped up in countries, almost everyone can name every country in the Americas, everyone can name every European country, they, you know, there's, there's, there's 50 of them, but they're quite distinctive, um, I feel like most people do pretty well in Asia, and honestly, Australia and New Zealand's pretty easy, but when it comes to Africa and the South Pacific, there are so many nations that are, you know, not, kind of not on the top of people's minds because they don't come up as frequently in the news. And so uh, today I figured we'd start with a map of every country in Africa and pointing at them on the map. It's one of those scary things where, you know, you almost feel like you should have revised, but this is just my honest first take at a bunch of quizzes. We'll be doing over an hour of them because who doesn't love quizzes? So first things first, um, oh, we get to pick them. So uh, the, the first country here is going to be Morocco. Um, I figured we might be clicking on them, but instead it shows me a country and I have to say it. So next to Morocco is going to be Algeria, as best I understand. And so the further down in Africa we get, the better we can make informed guesses, which is kind of handy in my opinion. So next up we've got uh, Tunisia. Tunisia is a weird country to me. It feels like very different from the North African mess that it's uh, kind of grouped in with. Then next to that is Libya, who are famous for all sorts of fun war crimes, but doing well on the... Uh, uh, you know, doing well on the international stage, and then we've got Egypt. Wow, who, what's this little right angle country here called? With some of, like, seriously, look at these. If, if we can zoom into this map, we can. Look how ridiculously right angled, uh, you know, like uh, Egypt is. Like this is, <laughs> they've got this little fun thing here. But it's uh, we, we we're gonna run out of time. We do too much of this. Then we're gonna zoom back out again because it probably helps me better. Up here is gonna be so that's next to that's gonna be Sudan, right? So what is next to Sudan? It's gonna be Chad or the Central Republic of. Africa. Um, I'm gonna go Central African Republic because it's a little bit too tall. Maybe it's Chad. See, this is this is this is this is where I'm getting tripped up. I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna final answer is Chad. Yes, which means this is Central African Republic. Which means this is Malawi is what my brain says. But Malawi feels like it should be over there somewhere. Um, yeah, there's only gonna be one country shaped weirdly like that. It's gotta be Malawi, right? Uh, so Malawi. It's oh no, it's not Malawi. Damn it! It was okay. Let's just see what it was. It doesn't tell me until later. So then we've got Dr. Congo. He is, uh, he's, he's a very big, uh, Central African Republic. Uh, very easy to get con- Oh, it's Congo! No, it is Congo! Of course it's Congo, because it's next to Dr. Congo. So Democratic Republic Congo. Can we go back for this? No, we can't. It's lost forever. Um, then we've got South Sudan, which might be Africa's newest country. Uh, love a bit of South Sudan. Love a bit of regular Sudan next to that. Then we've got Ethiopia. Um, this, this is a fun way of going around the continent, by the way. It's kind of like taking me on a tour. Um, Djibouti is this one here, right? So, oh no, okay, I can pick which one I click first. So that I, I know this is Djibouti. What is north of Djibouti? Because this is Somalia. Actually, yeah, let's, let's just, uh, let's clear out the area to make sure we're getting this right. That's Somalia. That's Djibouti. And so what goes, what goes over here? East of Sudan? Is there a country east of Sudan? This feels like one of those maps you use to troll Americans and be like, uh, you know, it's, a. Uh, so, uh, you know, again, this is, uh, it's not East Wattini. Eritrea feels about right, honestly. Um, I'm gonna have to go of Eritrea without really knowing. Yeah, that's Eritrea. Then, just to the south of, uh, Somalia and, uh, and, uh, <laughs> just to the south over here, we must, we must have, um, it's one of the five countries in the, in the soon-to-be East African Federation. So I'm, it's, it's not, it's, it's gonna be Kenya, because it's not, uh, Tanzania. So Kenya? Yeah, Kenya is way higher than you'd imagine. Then that's gonna be Uganda, because it's quite big. Actually, it might be too big to be Uganda. Um, there's two small countries, Rwanda and something else. Is this Rwanda? Yes, it is, which means this must be... Ah, uh, my... See, this, this is, this is, this is where the, uh, the test is useful, in my opinion. Next to, uh, Uganda is one of those, it's, it's, it's a tiny nation. The moment you... Burundi? Yeah, it's gonna be Burundi. Next to Burundi comes Tanzania. Then underneath that, this is Malawi. Okay, so I, I said to myself, there's only going to be one country that looks like this on the continent, but there's two, of course. This is real Malawi. Uh, this is fake Malawi. This is the north of uh, Zambia. Uh, so Zimbabwe is what I'm going to say. 
Oh, it's a bit weirdly shaped for Zimbabwe. So we'll go Zambia. This can't be Zimb Zimbabwe, so it's going to be Mozambique. The only country with a uh, an AK-47 on their flag. And then obviously, everyone knows Madagascar. No matter how much you know about Africa, you know you know Madagascar. South Africa has two countries inside of it, Eswatini and Lesotho. I think Eswatini is going to be the one that's entirely surrounded. Uh, no, it's going to be Lesotho. And then this is Eswatini, which is renamed, by the way. Very good job. Um, this is a country I would have a struggle naming off the top of my head. I know it's Zimbabwe. It's Zimbabwe. If I haven't gotten that, yes, it is. Um, this is next to Namibia, so it's Botswana. It's easy to start remembering that countries border other countries, and so you can spot the most geographically distinct countries. Like, every you can't miss Namibia. It's got that ridiculous panhandle right there. Uh, what's, what's it doing with a panhandle? Uh, this must be, therefore, as a result, uh, Angola, because it's the country just north. And I think um, some countries are hard to remember by the shape. Like, what is the puzzle-shaped country, puzzle-piece-shaped country? Um, is that Guinea? It might be Guinea. Is it the... It's not... Okay, so let's work our way back actually south. So we know this, this tiny country here is Gambia. We know that this must be... Uh, around it is the French one. Uh, I know it because it's from The Good Place. Uh, it starts with like a S, Senegal, and then this is, okay, I know this is Burkina Faso, because I made a joke about them in a recent geography video. See, I'm gonna learn about the whole world this way. It's gonna be great. It's gonna go wonderfully. Um, there's a big string of countries that come together here. The biggest of them is Nigeria. Uh, this is the biggest by population, so it's gonna be a big country. That's my terrible guess. It might be Niger, actually. Um, so then next to Nigeria is Niger, which is just north there. Shares a river, so you know it's got to be, like, in the same region. That's why they've got such similar country names. Um, and now we're a little bit more lost. Okay, so uh, I think we should go back in order. What's the puzzle piece-shaped country? It's got to be... No, it's not Mauritania. It's not Mauritius. That's one of the island chains. Uh, it's not Sao Tome. It's not Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone is over here somewhere. Um... Cape Verde, no, Cameroon, ah, no, these are all, these are all wrong feeling countries, so it can't be Equatorial Guinea, because the, equi uh, the equator is a little h higher up here, so this is Equatorial Guinea to my mind, yes it is, this is going to be regular Guinea, oh no, this must be regular Guinea, oh no, where's regular Guinea, does regular Guinea exist, <laughs> and then there's uh, Tugo and uh, Benin over here, I, this, this is an important one. I wouldn't be able to tell you which way around they go. I think it's Togo, Benin. Togo has the border with Nigeria. No, it doesn't. So Togo is this one. There we go. Which means this must be Benin. Oh, yeah, you see this? This is, this is an embarrassing streak I've got in West Africa. You can see my weak point. I've got the rest of the continent locked down, but not over here. So, um, oh, I ran out of time. Oh, no, there was a time limit. Yeah, you know. So you can see my, I, I would have eventually gotten basically everything, but then these countries are my weakness. So my strongest one is Egypt. 89% get it correct. I got it 100% correct. <laughs> and the, the weakest one that I got the best was Gambia. No one knows Gambia, but I didn't get a lot of countries that I really shit up, honestly. And mostly, most of that was time. We do this again. I'm doing much better. At least we did better than the average, despite running out of time. So, um, yeah, then there's Pacific Ocean, which is 12 separate, not 12 separate countries. It's 15, 17. There's too many countries in the Pacific Ocean. Can I name them all? Well, Indonesia's the big one, right? That's kind of cheating. Then, I, I don't know, Mal Malaysia might not be in there. Okay, so I'm going to guess that New Zealand has to count. And then, so maybe Australia counts. Australia's too big. So Papua New Guinea is going to count if Indonesia counts. Papua New Guinea. Uh, that's the second biggest. Uh, all of the big ones are really, really easy to get. Solomon Islands is like going to be the biggest small one, I think. So Solomon Islands. Uh, that's going to be... yeah. So yeah, as, as you can see, like second biggest small one. You've got like five big countries here. And then it immediately drops down to like nothing, nothing huge at all. So the other five big ones, countries whose territory is mostly on the ocean. The Philippines, I'm guessing, is going to count. And so if the Philippines counts, then Brunei... Oh, it's a tiny one. Yeah, of course it is. So, two, the, the Pacific Ocean, Taiwan, maybe? That's a that's a bit of a stretch to include Taiwan. In a Mongolia, like the nation of South Mongolia. Kiribati? Yeah, I've got to... I, I think we can... Okay, let's, let's, let's sweep all the Pacific Island coast countries I know that are deep in the Pacific that no one knows about. Everyone knows the Kiribati. Everyone knows Nauru. And it's, it's a weird country. Oh, it's the smallest. Okay, then we know Palau. We know Tuvalu. Uh, everyone everyone loves a good Tuvalu. Then there's like, uh, this, there's the Marshall Islands. Uh, if I can name all these countries, by the way, I think I'll be able to say, say I know every country on the planet, like, 
properly locked off. Because there's no map here to help me. <laughs> so, we got the four smallest ones, which might be the easiest ones, honestly. We're missing a huge one, so it's got to be in that same area. Like, big countries, but it's fine. Um, so, after Palau, there is the... Um, there's Micronesia. I don't know if that's actually a country. Yeah, it is a country. FS Micronesia. Um, after Micronesia is French... French Polynesia isn't going to be a real country. Uh, what is a country, though, is... There's so many island chains out there, and I don't know which one's a country. Okay, Vanuatu. Um, Vanuatu. Um, the... What's the big country that's almost Papua New Guinea-sized, um, and is in the Pacific Ocean? I'm forgetting some huge nation here. So there's the Philippines just north of it. Uh, Vietnam might... It's not going to be right. Yeah, so it's not counting the sea. has to be fully in the ocean. Um, uh, what's... Uh, so Japan? Oh, uh, it's Japan. Okay. So, yeah, of course Japan is technically... I, in my mind, Japan's in the East China. You know, it's fine. Okay, so we're missing only four tiny nations now. So smaller than Kiribati, bigger than the Federated States of Micronesia. What could that be? Um... I, I'm going to go with Fiji. Hey! Okay. So what is smaller than Brunei, bigger than Kiribati? Uh, Singapore. Oh, it's not going to count, right? Oh, it does count. Okay, so uh, bigger than Kiribati, smaller than Brunei. There's two more of these. Um, I don't <laughs> I don't know the Pacific Ocean very well at all. Genuinely, these. this is my big weakness. What was the last notable thing to happen in Palau? What was the last notable thing? I, I hate this random AI thing, by the way. Like, you don't need to take it, but, um, okay, two more. Smaller than Brunei, bigger than Kiribati, but, like, by a bit. So, it's going to be quite sizable, um, in a really big way. Um, I could just name, like, New Zealand Islands really easily here. Um, so, there is a, wait, so there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a Marshall Islands, and there's a American Marshall Islands, right? No, that's the same place. So there's a American Samoa and there's a regular Samoa. Okay, okay, one more, one more. <laughs> it's smaller than Kiribati, bigger than Singapore. I wouldn't be able to tell you what this is. I think I could go all day and I would never know what it is. If I've got Vanuatu, I've got Vanuatu. Uh, New Caledonia, I know it's not a country yet. They voted on it though, so I'm going to give myself a point. Um, nine seconds. Ah, uh, what is the last country? There's a country in the Pacific Oceans and I don't even know about it. That's, that's terrible. You know, I call myself a geography YouTuber, and I don't know about Tonga. Uh, is Tonga the worst one? No, Singapore is the worst one. Wow. People, see, that's, Singapore feels like a trick question, right? Whereas Tonga, the, see, Tonga is a country I forgot the existence of. I have to, I have to confirm real quick on Google Maps, is Tonga real? Have we ever seen it with your own eyes? Okay, Tonga is real. They have a free-headed coconut. Wow, that's nice. Uh, look, look at this. Oh, you can get, you can get admission on Google for free. Let's go see the free-headed coconut. I am very excited about this. Uh, where is it? Which which one of these is the free-headed one? So yeah, this is Tonga. I'll have to remember it. Tonga is the place of the free-headed coconut. You can't forget the free-headed coconut place. It's got a royal palace too. Jesus. I need to go see the royal palace. Okay, so we'll look at parliament buildings some other time. For now, we can say that is my Pacific Ocean. I, you know, better than average. Wait, only slightly better than average. Almost everyone gets them all, apparently. So next up, we've got word scrambles. This is, you. they just scramble up the names of countries. Tongs. Do they look like tongs even? If they look like tongs, I'd be able to remember that. But, uh, uh, oh, and then, okay, so New and the Cook Islands. These are New Zealand. American Samoa, quite obvious. French Polynesia is France. Um, the Pitcairn Islands is the UK. Hangaroa is Chile, I want to say. It's got to be, right? Where is this? This is, uh, this is, what, what country is this? This is Chile. Okay, so Chile owns this one. The UK owns this one. France owns this one. New Zealand owns this one. France also owns this one, and I assume some of these ones. It's, a uh, and uh, America owns these ones and these ones. And, you know, it's, uh, Micronesia, that's a real country. And then Guam, not a real country. Northern Mariana Islands, not a real country. The, the Southern Mar... Oh, wait. So, Guam is the Southern Marinara. Mar Mariana Islands. <laughs> I keep saying Marinara. Palau, real country. New, not real country. New Caledonia looks like a country, not a country. It's just too hard. I don't know how... I don't know how you ever meant to do it, Internet. So, next up, we're going to do some word scrambles. Let's go. Outcube, A-U-C-B. It's uh, if you're dyslexic and you really don't like police. Um, so, we're going to go with Cuba. Uh, Badarapaso. Uh, Sarah DeBos. Okay, can I just move on to this one? What? Badar... Barra... Barra... Barra Doso. Okay, so 
This is going to be Den Swe e Swen. I'm not good at this quiz. Uh, Ned. Ned. What, what country has W in the name? It has to end or start with W. Swe Sweden. Okay, Sweden. <laughs> uh, Ila Il Iliat. Um, Italy. Okay, that's really easy. Uh, that's Israel. This is Ghana. Oh, I'm, I'm killing it now. Montenegro. So I, I was really bad. Montenegro. Okay, got it that time. Uh, Volomalco. I don't know about that one. Then we got Mali. Then we got uh, Malaysia. See, okay, you know what? See, this is how you learn about the world. You learn about it through the eyes of a very dyslexic person. Aram bin Binha. It's got to be Har Bar Baham, but no. Har Bon in Nar Namibia. Wait, Nar Narib Naribha. Okay, Ban Ban Bon Banaha. I don't know what it is. Okay, this is Fiji. I just learned about Fiji. Um, then we got Warden. War d d na nod nod <laughs> one ra ran ranadan randwa okay then we got iraq here nice and easy uh nice nice and good we got run <laughs> okay i'm slowly on lost here um man if one of these was tonga i would be so ready for it by the way but it's ronnie you uh aaron okay one <laughs> okay this is madagascar uh, this is surprisingly hard on the top of your head. Maybe if you're watching this, you've got like a real good feel for it. I am, I am stumped and I'm, I'm having fun with it. Um, ban, okay, no, I can't, can't get that one. One, Ronnie, we, uh, Isabel? What is Isabel? Uh, Zeb, okay, so it's Leb, these, what countries have Z in the name? There can't be them, that many. Uh, there's no Tonga in all of this. Um, what country has two A's in it? I can... Canada. Okay, easy. Um, Biralia. Uh, it's going to be like... The IA is going to be in the same audio. So it's going to be like... Lyreb... Liberia. Yeah, Lyreb... Lyribia, uh, as it's often known. Um, the Bolomacau... Ah, oh, no. We got we got 65%. Um, okay, so Barbados really should have got that. Colombia. Yeah. Rwanda. Yeah, there aren't many W countries. Belize. No... I was thinking Norway, but it would just it just wasn't adding up to me. So we didn't get Colombia. Apparently if you take this every time it's different. So now look, it's it's all oh god. Finland. Okay, we're gonna do well this time. Finland. Um Micro Mokroso. Some some <laughs> Morocco Morocco. No, it can't be a thing. Oh man, this is okay, so Togo. We actually might get Tonga. So so Olas is Laos. Uh, we go for the night. Okay, the short ones are simple, right? We start short and then we work big. India. Um, Japan. Oh, yeah, this is real good. Um, <laughs> what is this country? What country has two E's in it? There can't be that many. Look, this is E. Um, we got Bir Bir Bahrain. Bir Nai Nai Burn 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 No, Vernia. Uh, I, I, I don't know it at all. This is. This is Bahrain, actually, uh, if I'm not mistaken. This is... It's so fun, the moment... Like, it makes no sense, and then all of a sudden it does. Like, one uh, it It's... It's a noir. One na... 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 one uh, And then eventually you get something close to a country, and you're like, yep, yeah, that must be it. Like, in a pastic... Okay, so as... 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 as you, oh, God. Okay, this is... Ow... What... What is... What is any of this? I really am... Um, I'm beyond lost on it. So we'll go back to <laughs> Uiben. Um, Uiben. Uiben. Okay, Nitoran. We don't get it. Okay, this is this is Taiwan. That's there's no question in that. Um, this is this is I. <laughs> okay, so this is Comoros. See the African quiz coming in handy. This is Bray Sienan Dinit. This is Nid Nisionen Din. Okay, this is. This is beyond lost. This the the two the two E's country. C he Lee uh, Seychelles. Seychelles. No, it's not the Seychelles. Oh I smell. Seychelles. Um what country has a Z in it besides Azerbaijan? Oh, you use Uzbekistan. Um Okay, so uh if we think about stands, we can look for stand quite easily. Um no, there's no stand in any of this. Uh, ne okay, uh, this is gotta be like a, a something gar. Uh, no, new, new, okay, this is, this is Brunei. This is Brunei. 
Okay, you know I I I give up on this. This is the worst. I <laughs> I got worse on my second try than on my first. Argentina is a hard one, by the way. Ninti Interag, like I just uh, Pakistan is an easy one, apparently. Kiribati is a hard one. Who even knows the Kiribati? Mo apparently, most people taking this quiz. So now those are the only three quizzes I lined up, just so we'd have like some stability before hitting the random button. So here's the fun thing, internet. You hit random, it could be any quiz. I think it has to be English, but any quiz. So the first one is NATO military alphabet. <laughs> uh, so this is one I wanted to learn forever ago. Like, uh, so the al al military alphabet is like alpha. If you're speaking, oh, it's alpha with an F. If you're speaking on the phone, you need to be very clear which letter you mean because a wrong letter might kill people. So Bravo, for example, B equals Bravo. C is Charlie, uh, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, I know this because I do a lot of um, I do a lot of telephone stuff. Um, it hurts to no one. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the beautiful thing. Um, so G is uh, gamma. No, G. That's that's the Greek alphabet. Um, so I happen to know uh, X ray. I know um, Lima. I know Sierra. Uh, Tango. Oh yeah, Tango down. Tango down. Tango Charlie. Um, Tango Foxtrot is a thing. Yeah, yeah. This is, um, okay, so G G must be like gangbusters or something, right? Gangbusters. That's not, it's not gangbusters. It's going to be a really short word. H for hotel. I know that one. I for indigo. I would have to guess it can't be. <laughs> J for jam. See which ones the least common ones are. And so I can see. Okay, no, N for November should have got that. M for Mike should have got it. The least commonly known one is U for unicorn and P for papa. You know, also Q for Quebec. Wow, good job Quebec, getting yourself on the NATO military alphabet. Next up here, we got Qatar country quiz. Can you know? Can you guess these facts about the country of Qatar? Who knows for sure. Let's 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 find out. Um, so um, yeah, I, I think the, the 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 there's a lot of facts about Qatar. We'll give them all. Capital city Doha. Gulf in which Qatar lies, the Arabian Gulf, the Persian Gulf. I guess actually. Uh, the official language is Qatari. No, it's going to be Arabic. You know, I hate countries that don't have their own... Okay, currency of Qatar, the real. The only boarding country, Saudi Arabia. Until they cut them off, just saying, one day. Major news broadcaster is... Um, it's really huge, Al Jazeera. Um, just a reminder, if you want to be famous, make your own news country. 2022 event hosted by um, Qatar, FIFA. Uh, title of a Qatari ruler. He's got to be like an emirate, I'm guessing. Yeah, emir, even. Primary export is, people would guess oil, but it's actually gas. You know, you can't give me oil. It's not oil, it's natural gas. The, the oil is a secondary thing. Um, <laughs> apparently they can give it to me. Qataris have the world's highest per capita emissions of CO2. Um, uh, Qatar became independent from the UAE in 1971. Must be, if it's not the UAE, who is it? Saudi Arabia? No, no, it's gotta be United Arab Emirates. The, I guess the UK then. <laughs> I mean, but it was a path that you... Ah, whatever, you know, take your thing. More than twice as many residents are born in this country as were born in Qatar itself. True? Yes. Oh, India. Right. Um, <laughs> uh, system of law. Uh, Sharia law. Uh, penalty for uh, alcohol consumption by a Muslim. Chat. I don't know this one, but I'm going to guess that it's death. I'm just going to... Oh, prison. Lifetime. Oh, stoning, maybe. No. What is the penalty for alcohol consumption? Do they drown you to death? Um, drowning. Okay, that's not the correct answer. So, the country with the most similar flag is Bahrain. Traditional selling vessel whose name starts with D. A D... Or a, D a dim... A D I know this, actually. A dim... A D whatever. Name one of the two countries of a higher per capita GDP than uh, uh, Qatar. Monaco. Uh, an Arabian oryx is a type of bird. Oh. Is a type of, um, like, oh, car, eagle, right? No. What is an oryx? Oh, no, an oryx isn't a bird. It's a, it's like a deer. It's like a, it's like, it looks like a deer, like a mammal. What is it? It's a, um, also a fine, maybe. There's no way it's just a fine. I, you know, there's no way it's, yeah, of course it's not a fine. So, um, prior to the 1920s, the economy of Qatar revolved around these aquatic treasures. Pearls, I'm going to guess. Yep. 0% of Qatar's land is covered with 0% of trees, I'm guessing, because it's a desert. Yep. So we only have three questions left. 
Um, penalty for alcohol consumption by a Muslim. I don't know, like, exile? <laughs> Execute. Okay, so I went for death, but I'll go for execution. No, it's not. What is it? Like, um, do they deport you? What, what do they do to people if you're... Okay, so uh, the Arabian Oryx is a type of... It's, it looks like a deer. It's a really cute, cute little animal. Um, it's a type of oryx, technically. Nope, that's not gonna, not gonna ex be accepted. It's a type of uh, bird. It's not. A, what, what is it? So, um, yeah, the the D. It's like a dim, dim. I, I don't know it. You know, what? this is as good as I'm getting. It's a a dahow. I wouldn't have got it. Antelope would have got it. Lashes. Ah. They, they put on some pretty eye makeup for you. So, as you can see, the Dow was unknown, the antelope was unknown, and so was the lashes. A lot of people must have guessed Def too. The Riau, I'm pretty proud of myself of that. I've been to Qatar, so I have a little advantage. But still, you're not proud of myself. I did 76.6% better than average. Oh, that's not how that works, though. But the next question is, biggest import country... Oh, this is a fun one. Every country on the planet, who is their biggest import partner? What sort of a quiz is this? Okay, let's do it. So, here's the secret, right? You type in Germany, and you've covered most of the world. You type in the USA, you've covered a, a significant other portion. Then you type in... So, you just have to, like, the UK. It's going to be Ireland's, right? I'm guessing. Um, yep. So, you just got to guess each country's biggest part trading partner. So, Sweden's going to be, like, Finland's, maybe. Norway is going to be no one's. So, after Denmark? No. Okay, so you got to go big countries. France is going to be someone's. Spain is going to be someone's. Andorra's, yep, makes sense. So Italy is going to be both of its microstates, which means that South Africa is going to be its microstates. Uh, Malaysia is going to be someone's. Uh, Singapore is going to be someone's. Whoa, Guyana in South America buys most of its stuff from Singapore? Oh, Guyana, not Guyana. But still, a bit bizarre, right? Is there more Singapore's on here, actually? Whoa, the Marshall Islands do too? I am absolutely fascinated. Um, so Russia is obviously going to be like half the world's. Wow, yeah. Um, wait, is Russia the United States or Germany? It's not either. Okay, so who is Russia's biggest trading partner? Um, Dasher in chat bets it's Belarus. It's not going to be, though. It's going to be a big economic power. Japan? Japan's not any country's biggest trading partner? Okay, so it's going to be China then. Um, China. Whoa! <laughs> okay, so we're doing pretty well with China. Um, so we have to go with India, obviously. Pakistan's going to be someone's. No, it's not. Um, just those those huge countries. Brazil is obviously going to be a lot of people's. Suriname is going to have its biggest trading partner be like... Um, Mexico is going to be someone. No, Mexico's no one's. Is Canada anyone's? Poor Canada. Um, so China's biggest trading partner. I'm surprised it's not the US, honestly. If it's not the US and it's not Russia, um, that's a hard one. Bahrain is going to be Saudi Arabia. Um, so Saudi Arabia's is going to be... Uh, someone might be Iraq, but it's unlikely. Iran is going to be someone's. Afghanistan's. Surprising. Um, then we're going to have someone who's going to be a big boy trader in Africa. Maybe someone's biggest trip partner. No, it's not Egypt. Okay, so Cyprus is going to be Greece. Someone's going to be Turkey. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um... So, China's biggest trading partner. That is a really interesting one. Customs Union with France. That's fun. So, uh, unknown. Yemen is going to be... Yeah, they love Saudi Arabia, but not as much as they love Oman. Uh, yeah, who, do, who does Yemen love? Uh, Ethiopia is a good bet, actually. Oh, it's not a good bet. So, Suriname, who do they trade the most with? Uh, if I could look on a map, I don't know if we could, but I'm, I'm going to... Like, Argentina is a good bet. Mexico would be a good bet. We went break to go Argentina. It's not Argentina. So it's one of these other countries here. Chile, no. Ecuador, no. Colombia, I could see Colombia. Nope. Um, so it's someone. East Timor, it's got to be Indonesia. Uh, yep, see, easy guess. China, um, uh, Belgium's going to be, by the way, Belgium's going to trade the most with France or Germany, but it's not them, so it's either Luxembourg or the Netherlands, which means that the Netherlands is on here. Luxembourg is going to be Belgium. Yeah. Uh, Latvia is going to be Estonia, maybe? No, Lithuania or Poland. Okay, Lithuania and Poland, maybe. We'll try Poland anyway. Iceland has got to be Norway, right? Yeah, so I should have tried Norway earlier. Montenegro is going to be Serbia. Um, Tonga. Oh, who does Tonga trade with? Australia or New Zealand? It's one of the two, right? Australia, New Zealand. <laughs> Kiribati trades with God knows who. Um, South Sudan trades of Sudan. No, they don't. 
Oh, who do you trade with, South Sudan? Uh, who? Kenya? Yeah. Um, South Thailand, Principe, Liberia uh, has a very... It's going to be Nigeria then, right? It's got to be It's gotta be a big country in the region. It's not. Guinea-Bissau could be regular Guinea. <laughs> it's not. Oh, okay, big trading partners for CAR. Chad. Uh, no, a big, a big regional power who sends them a lot of stuff. Uh, Libya is a bad guess. Algeria is, has a lot of oil. No, nope. Cabo, Cabo Verde, Comoros. So Comoros is off the coast of uh, Mozambique, but it's not going to be them. Angola, anyone? Ooh, we could just name every country and that'd be the secret, right? Um, have you tried India yet? I have actually. Uh, Vietnam is going to be Laos's. No, nope. Thailand. Okay, we got a. We got a really, uh, Oman has got to be one of the nearby powers, uh, UAE. Yeah, UAE, wow. Okay, Kiribati. We're missing some big countries here. I don't know if I could get Cabo Verde with, okay, Portugal. I've already done Portugal. Actually, have I, have I done Portugal? Hey, um, so we'll just try European powers on the off chance. Uh, Switzerland, it's got to be someone's, right? No. Um, who else is it going to be? Like, Austria. Shot in the dark, no. Um... Who is it going to be, Suriname? Who do you trade with? Uh, we wish a new level, by the way. Congratulations. So, Taiwan. I was going to type it in, but I thought it was so stupid. There's no way China trades more with Taiwan than they trade with um, the United States. That feels like a false fact. Cameroon? She wouldn't have gone. Ivory Coast? Uh, you know, these are all... Okay, Fiji, Venezuela, obviously, you know, trade blockades. So, this is pretty good. Which, the least likely ones to guess were Surinams, so I feel good about that. Um, yeah, honestly, these are pretty hard ones. Taiwan, oh, I should, just should have gotten it. Singapore, I'm surprised no one else tried that for anything. Lithuania is an obvious one not to try. Whereas, uh, everyone guessing China and the US, good job. 1% of people didn't, but I assume they, they fell asleep at their computer after hitting start. Next up, let's try another random quiz. This is fun, I like this. I have no idea what I'm up to. So, Latin America, I'm pretty weak at the cities. Most popular city is going to be Mexico City. Um... The name means fair winds. It's going to be like Buenos Aires because it sounds like winds, right? Yep. Uh, home to the Chrysler Redeemer. That's Rio. Pasco Eblabar, uh, Escobar ran... I thought it was Colombia, but it's M. Oh, but it's M is the capital of Colombia. Mes... I don't know it. So, um, so this is San Jose, which is annoying because... Okay, there are flights that depart Heathrow from San Jose and San Jose at very similar times. And it's very stressful when it's like San Jose, brackets, um, you know, like, um, I actually forget which country it's in at the top of my head. Uh, it's that really popular one for tourists in the middle of America. It, it gets me good. Uh, so, um, most popular city in the Amazon, me, it came up in a video. Most popular city in South America starts with an S, Santiago? It can't be. Um, S for... C... Uh, okay, city of 10 million on the Pacific. If it's not Mexico... L Lima. There's no way there's 10 million in Lima. There's 10 million people living in Lima. Okay, that's 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 incorrect. It's just it's just fake. Uh, <laughs> there's no way. No way 10 million people live in Lima. Um, so highest national capital in the world is city north of Rio de Oh God. See Latin America. I'm really weak at. So border San uh, Diego, Tijuana. Um, northernmost major city in Colombia, Shakira's hometown. Bogota. It's got to be Bogota. Oh, it's not. Is Bogota even in Colombia, actually? <laughs> um, Yucatan. Um, <laughs> capital city on the border of Argentina. It's uh, Montevideo, right? Montevideo. Oh, how do you even spell it? Video. Um, highest vacation city near Mayan ruins? Cancun. Uh, located on a major canal. Panama. Um, major city on a... I had a... My driving instructor was like, oh, I went to Panama City with the military. And I was like, oh, in Panama? He's like, no, in Florida, you idiot. Like, as if I was the silly one for not guessing that. Anyway, it's the most major city in Latin America. Rio also? Re... It's got to be somewhere in Brazil. What's really deep on there? I don't know. This is, this is my weakest spot I have. Most popular city in South America. Uh, it's, if it's not San Diego, uh, what could it possibly be? Um, it, okay, so, only capital beginning with Q, Quito, Quito, Ecuador, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we got most popular city on the Amazon, don't know it. Uh, most popular city in South America. I could try San Diego again. <laughs> Santiago. Uh, if it's not Santiago, 
It's San San. No, I don't. I don't know. I do not know cities that start with S. It's maybe uh, the capital of Venezuela is what like. S -s 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 I, I don't know it. Um. So plane, sh pl plan city shaped like an airplane. Oh, Brasilia, Brasilia. Um. I learned that because of a video very recently about roads. Uh, capital of the Incan Empire. Don't know it. Most popular city in Ecuador. Uh, it's gonna be their capital. Capital of Ecuador is. There are flights there. If it's not Quito, it's you don't know it. Caribbean city this is the oldest city in the North Americas. Sao Paulo. Um, oh, that's the most popular city. There we go. <laughs> really? Is that true? Um, highest national capital. Capital city on the border with Argentina. Um, so Uruguay must have one as well. What's the capital of Uruguay? It's Am. Oh, I don't know. Easternmost major city. Ramadan. Nope. Um, man, this is this is this is one of my weakest spots. Um, so Bogota, I'm gonna try it again. It's gotta be something. How is it not a correct answer? Am I spelling it wrong? I must be spelling it wrong. Um, I, I would love to find out what it is now. So B is for Barranquilla, wouldn't have got it. Port Al Prince, that's uh, technically Latin America, I wasn't thinking it. Um, so the S city was Santo Domingo, oldest city in North America. Most popular city, Manaus, yeah, I could have gotten it. Medellin, wouldn't have gotten it. Cusco would have gone it. Yeah, there's there's a lot of these that I do know, just not very well. So the best I got was a 58%. The worst I didn't get was 20. Who knows where Shakira's hometown is? And Pablo Escobar is apparently quite famous. La Paz. Ah, oh, yeah, La Paz. Okay, so next up, this was fun. I did, I did, this is the worst I've done on a quiz. The average is 15, I got 12. I need to up my Latin America city knowledge because I know the countries, but not too much about the cities. Um, generate a puzzle. We've got a... Oh, this isn't geography, right? <laughs> uh, the countries of Europe by population. This is really easy. Russia, Germany, France, United Kingdom. Can I just type in UK? Uh, Italy, Spain. I don't even... You know what? Let's not even look at the list. Let, we won't scroll down on it. After Spain comes... Um, it's, uh, it's There's Romania and Poland. We're not going to get them right now. Oh, you have to do it in order. So after Spain is... Um, I don't actually know who. Where, where where do forty million people live that I don't know about? Uh, God, I was so confident. I was okay. So, um, be uh, yeah, it's gotta be Ukraine, I guess. Um, you know, it's is that really you? <laughs> we won't go into that now. So then it's Poland. Then it's Romania. Then it's definitely Nigeria. No, it's um, then it's the Netherlands. If that that can't be correct. It's seventeen million people in the Netherlands. Have you seen the size of the Netherlands? Okay. Then we got Belgium. It's a big drop off from Belgium. Uh, I actually think I might need the next letter. So from Belgium down, I'm going to guess that it's Sweden. No, it's not Sweden. Something comes between Belgium and Sweden. About 10 million people live there. Portugal, maybe, would be my guess. Nope, if it's not Portugal. Where do about 10 million people live? Uh, okay, we'll look at the letter. We'll cheat. G for... There's another G country in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't have been so confident. Um, the Greece, really Greece, you know, I thought it had like 5 million people. Um, then we've got uh, a sea country, which is going to be, <laughs> man, okay. Okay, so I, I can, I'll do the ones I do know and then we can fill in the gaps quite easily. So it's Portugal and then it's Sweden and then it's Hungary and then it's Hungary. And then it's something, and then it's Austria, I'm going to guess. Austria, and then it's Slovakia. Uh, oh, C is for the Czech Republic, if that's C. That's that's what I mean there, like, uh, Czechia. And then V is for the big one that's near Hungary. S is not for Slovakia. S is for Slovakia. Oh, Slovakia has way fewer people than I ever guessed in it. Um, so B, that's a big country. Um, not Bratislava, that's the capital. Uh, we're getting close to Switzerland, so we could get to Switzerland soon. We should try Switzerland if that's not Slovakia. Uh, which means, is this Slovakia? You know, if this isn't Slovakia, is this Slovakia? Slovakia's down there. So, a country of more people than Slovakia, but starting with S. Interesting little struggle there. Um, the B, uh, I'm going to come back for. The B here is going to be, like, uh, going to come back for. The S, it's going to be somewhere on the, the east side. Uh, down there somewhere, Serbia. Surprise, Serbia is so low, honestly. Serbia has less than Switzerland, is an interesting fact. Um, D has got to be for... D, um, 
Let's go small, actually. So V is Vatican City. Okay, we'll work our way up. That's nice and easy. S is San Marino. L is for... These are all the tiny uh, city-states. Liechtenstein. Yeah, I know I know my tiny city-states. Don't you ever pretend I don't. Then it's uh, Monaco, Andorra. See, it's so much easier to start low and go up, I feel like, sometimes. I is going to be for the smallest non-state uh, by population. Then it's Malta. Then it's Luxembourg. So what's what's the biggest not really micro country with an M? 600,000 people live there and it's in Europe somewhere. Um, I am going to go ahead and say it is... If it's not Malta, there's another... Oh, Montenegro. Wow, that's that's a tiny country. Monte Why did we let them have independence? You know Chat, I hate to say it, but we messed up when we gave when we gave them independence. Then it's Estonia. So this is probably Latvia. I think Lithuania has the most of the three. So this is Lithuania. Um, if that's Lithuania, there's countries with more people than them. Uh, K is for... K is for... Okay, we're going to work our way down. So B, there's a huge country of Belarus that I've missed. It might not be them. So the next B has got to be the country of... I is for Ireland down here at 4.9. Um, I've just got to, like, look at every country and see where it roughly fits in. Um, so, uh, B is for Bosnia? No way they have more people than Serbia. Yeah, so the next B is for Bosnia. Uh, look at that. Um, A would be for... Okay, what is B for? Okay, we gotta, we gotta really hurry. Uh, C is gonna be for Croatia. Croatia. Um, M is for... I shouldn't have made fun of this. Now I look so silly. <laughs> uh, K is for... There's a European country with K in there? Okay, so this is Slovenia, right? This is got to be Slovenia. Um, there's uh, the B, big B country. Uh, D is for... D -d 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 uh, F is for... Okay, Bulgaria. It's Bulgaria. Um, K is for... It's got to be like... It starts with KN? There's no European country with a K in it, damn it. Oh, Kosovo. Oh, you know, okay, I've suddenly decided, I used to be pretty pro-Kosovo and independence. I've decided Kosovo is a part of Serbia. You can fight me. A Serbia has way fewer people than I expected, and Kosovo is not a country. I, I would have obviously gotten these enough. Like, I feel like uh, this was a time struggle for me. Like, I, you can easily get this if you realize you've got to go into it with speed. Um, look at this, by the way, Kosovo, only 63% of people recognize Israel. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit of a struggle. North Macedonia is also kind of a tricky one. But, um, yeah, they, uh, we'd have got it otherwise. So Emirates of the United Arab Emirates. We've got three minutes for seven of them. I only think I can name three off the top of my head. There's Dubai. There's Abu Dhabi. Wait, Dubai doesn't have the most people? No, oh, I thought it was a long shot. Okay, so then there's Sharjah. Um, and then we just, we roll the dice after this. What, it, what is there an emirate doing with 65,000 people? Why do we let them have independence? So, um, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, I know the top three pretty well. Um, yeah, I, I would, uh, there's, there's one that starts with like a, there's like Raja or something. I wouldn't get it. Um, yeah, yeah, there's Ras, al Kamin. Ajman, Fujira. I would have gone Fujira. I, I know that off the t in somewhere in my head. Um, Al Kuwain. I should learn more about. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> the majority of people get Dubai, Abu Dhabi, and then give up, which is fun to me. So yeah, we could. Uh, there's a there's a lesson to be learned in that somewhere. Don't know what it is. Next up, we've got the five most guessed countries by. Oh, this is Wheel of Fortune style. We have to work out the countries the most people know on each continent. So I'm gonna do this. I think I can do this. So we only get thirty guesses. Um, so Egypt, 100% for Africa. Um, Europe, it's going to be, oh, it's going to be the UK or France. I think it's going to be the UK, France, Spain, Italy. So UK, maybe Russia, uh, no. Okay, so UK is not number one, so France can't be number one. Oh, I would have to die. Germany being number one would be weird. Germany's not on there? Oh, is Italy more famous than, okay. What is more famous than, than the UK? Spain, maybe. Oh, so, okay, we got everything but the top one there. Um, for Asia, it's going to be China, Japan. Uh, Taiwan, if it counts as a country, it doesn't. Thailand, if it counts as a country, it doesn't. <laughs> um, so China and Japan, that's nice and easy. North America is USA, Canada, Mexico. They're the three everyone knows. No one knows anything past those, so you go for, like, the most popular tourist destinations. Bahamas, El Salvador... Uh, yeah, you're really stretching it once you get past Guatemala, maybe, because people are thinking mainland. Um, so yeah, we, uh, the, 
Do you think it? Do you think it really is Russia, China, India, Japan? So yeah, in, India is the right one for Asia. After India, and so you can see there's a big drop off here. South America is gonna be easy too. Brazil, Argentina, and Chile. Um, which is weird that Chile has so much like fame, right? You'd figure it'd be lower down. Um, for Africa, South Africa is gonna be a big one, right? Um, and for Oceania, it's Australia, New Zealand. Fiji is going to be third by a long place. Oh, it's fourth. So, Papua New Guinea, if it counts. I don't think it would count. Um, yeah, so after that, it's going to be whichever dumb... It's not going to be Tonga. Oh, what's that? No one knows Tonga. Okay, so we'll get Europe. It might be Russia. No, no way 95% of people know Russia. Where even is it? Couldn't locate it on a map for you. Um, <laughs> okay, Ethiopia and Nigeria are good guesses for Africa. Um, Ethiopia. Ethiopia. I don't know how you spell Ethiopia. Clearly not correctly. Nigeria. Oh, Ni Niger is more popular than Nigeria? No, that's a mistake. That is... Um, so, more popular... Okay, so, I, I do think that after Chile, we got to just try, like... Um, Uruguay is quite famous. Venezuela. Um, quite famous. Colombia. Yeah, obviously, Colombia. And so, if it's above Colombia, it's got to be Ecuador. I'm going to have to say... Oh, Equi Ecuador, Equ <laughs> yeah, okay. So more than Colombia, okay, so after Mexico, I'm gonna have to say like uh, Haiti, Dominican. Oh yeah, so after Japan, uh, Peru, yeah, it's Peru, okay. So that's that was a chat one, sorry, you got that one chat, not me. What would people guess in the middle of Oceania? Okay, um, Micronesia, yay, okay, I got one of them at least. So Morocco, Madagascar, Madagascar just is a meme. Turkey, Iran, yeah, I'm thinking wrong part of Asia. Cuba, Panama, Cuba, yeah, technically North American. Panama, Panama, I wanted to say, but I figured it's just too borderline. So yeah, we didn't get Cuba, we didn't get Morocco. It's pretty good. We did better than oh, we did pretty badly apparently. Average is 25. Uh, I don't know what people, normal people guess. You, could, I should have just started naming. Random, random countries at that point. Country, flag, shape, pictures. Let's go. So, Kazakhstan. Um, Kazakhstan. Um, this is going to be a weird... Okay, so this is Lithuania or something, right? Um, okay. So, Lithuania. This is El Salvador. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Then we've got Luxembourg. I'm going to Luxembourg tomorrow, actually. Um... We got Nigeria. It might be Niger. Um, this is going to be Palau or Nauru. I don't know which one. Um, this is North Korea. This over here is Benin or Togo. Is it Togo? Um, this over here is Trinidad and Tobago. It's a cool flag that you can't really see because of the country shape. Trinidad. And don't make me type it all. Oh, it's not Trinidad and Tobago. So um, Antigua and Barbuda. This is Latvia. Uh, this is Malaysia. Weirdly shaped country, by the way, right? Uh, this is Slovakia. Um, this is the South American one, Suriname. Um, then we got Madagascar, I think. That's a weird weird flag you don't see very often. Because when, when do you ever see people in Madagascar? That's the one thing you famously don't see. Um, this could be a few things. Maybe Libya, because of the weird little handle. No, uh, Iraq then. Uh, ooh, what country has that weird little handle in the top right? It's not Egypt. Okay, so we're going to come back to this one. It's got to be like the Micronesia. Or it's it's going to be one of those just tiny countries. Um, Marshall Islands. No, it's got a little star in there somewhere. So, um, yeah, country of a little handle to the north. Not right there yet. Uh, this little country right here. Not quite there yet either. It's got three main islands, then five coming off at the Solomon Islands. No, it's, it's not. That's Solomon Islands. It, it's... it's um, it's got to be... <sighs> okay, so we'll come back to this. So, countries that are in the Arabic world. It's the Pan-Arabic colors. Um, it's not Egypt. It's not It's not Iraq. It's not Libya. So, it's it's uh, Syria. Yeah. Um, country that is made up of weird lands that look like that. Um, so, it's not Comoros. It's not the Seychelles. It's not the Maldives. It might be the Maldives. I don't know their flag. Uh, no, their flag has an Islamic star. It has a star. So, it's got to be like the Marshall Islands... Um, it's, um, it's the, you know, I give up on it. I, I would get it with enough trying. It's one of those, oh, it's Cape Verde. It's no way. Cape Verde's flag. Okay, it's learning something new. I got the least answer one wrong, 
and I did better than 62.9%. I need to get a flawless on this soon, right? I, what am I doing with this? Countries that start with R? <laughs> okay, let's go. Congo, Ireland. Oh, no, we don't have the other one. So R is for Russia. R is for Romania. And R is for Ram... <laughs> this came up just recently. Ram... Ra... Okay, so we'll go through all of Africa. Nope. No, 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 wait. Go through South America. Nothing in there. Go through Central America. Nothing in there. Um... It's gotta be in Africa. It's uh, it's uh, Rwanda. There we go. Yeah, 52.5% of people also scored 100%. Average score is free. I got all four. I could, the fastest time is 34 seconds. Wait till you see my fastest time now. Okay, watch this. Speed run, speed run. Congo, Rwanda. Uh, oh God, Russia, Romania. Oh yeah, speed run, six seconds. Any percent victory. Okay, so. NH NFL football teams, not really geography. Azerbaijan country quiz, sure. Uh, the capital is Baku. It gained independence from Russia, or the USSR technically. Uh, the sea is on the, it's on the Caspian Sea. It is bordering Russia. It borders oh, like Turkey, I want to say. It borders Armenia. They have some strong feelings about that. They probably border Georgia. And they border one other country, so maybe Iran, actually. Yeah, it's Iran. There we go. Uh, Branch Bislam, it's got to be... I think they're sunny. I don't think they're Shias. Oh, they're Shias. I didn't realize that. Um, they, uh, mountain range in the north of the country is the Caucasus. That's why we call them Caucasians. It's apparently not why we call them Caucasians, but no one can stop me. Um, e describes a disconnected... Um, oh, an enclave. Oh, no. Wait, a disconnected part of a country surrounded by foreign territory such as Armenia's Navachan Autonomous Republic. Extremely offensive? Ex it is, oh, exclave, not enclave, that's why. Um, they Azerbaijan has 400 volcanoes, but they're not real volcanoes. Fake volcanoes. Uh, inactive? What's a, what's a, what's a not real volcano? Um, so, um, Nat, I don't, I don't know how you spell this. It's like Narask. Nar Narask. It's something like that, but I'm not going to get it. National Amic is a specific breed of bird, deer, fish. Uh, despite being an Asian country, Azerbaijan contests uh, Eurovision. Gotta be. Um, at the start of the 20th century, Azerbaijan was producing more than 50% of the world's supply of oil, right? <laughs> um, and they have a lot of their Olympic medals in one sport. Um, swimming? No. Yeah, I mean, they got the sea, right? Running? Shooting, I'm going to have to guess. I mean, you you exist in the Soviet Union for long enough. you got to get good at that. Uh, chess player born and schooled in Azerbaijan, who was champion of the world. I only know Magnus Carlsen. He's like Norwegian. Um, <laughs> so are they really good at chess? Is that their Olympic sport? Um, if it's not running, it's not, it's, it's not jumping. <laughs> Is that a sport? Okay, so we'll go back. Um, the uh, volcano, when it's not a real volcano... Uh, it's an inactive volcano. It's not a real volcano. It's a pretend volcano. It's not a real volcano. It's a small volcano. The National Animal... Okay, yeah, I don't... Don't know any of these guys. So, that's where we're at. Uh, oof. So, yeah, I, I knew this, by the way. I just didn't know how to spell it. Do you think I should have looked that up? Horse I would have got. I know they love horses there. Mud volcano. Oh, interesting. So yeah, you can see I... Uh, it's weird that actually the average score is 13 and I got all of the ones above 50% and then messed up under that at that one. But I, I got 14 on that one. Wait, I need at least 14 to get country trivia, but I knew it. Okay, let's... We'll get our 14. Uh, it's Nagorno. Nagorno. And it's wrestling, apparently. And also they're mud volcanoes, but yeah. Um... You know, I don't want to type this in again. I'm not I'm not that invested in the badge. What I am that invested in is space exploration. No, I'm invested in Japan. Does Japan have a higher population density than the US? It has like half the people, but one tenth of the landmass, so true. What about the percentage of population that are ethnically Japanese? Japan is a very ethnically homogenous nation. It's 98%. Um, Japan is like Nihon, which must mean like... It's got to be like sun origin. Land of the rising sun, right? Um... So, Isuzu is, uh, oh wait, it's gotta be Yamaha, the, the keyboard people who make the motorcycles. Atori is a, um, is a British person with socially conservative views, but, uh, it's also, 
It's a traditional Japanese gate. Sakura is a cherry blossom. The Chinese tried to invade, but were turned back by typhoons. A lot of other people tried to invade separately, but were not turned back by typhoons. Um, Hirohito was the World War II guy. The CD play MSG was probably invented in Japan. Judo feels Japanese. And the CD player, I'm going to level with you, it feels kind of Japanese. You know, like big, big land with a hole in the middle. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go with, I'm going to have to go with mobile phone. Um, should we go with it? I'm not sure, honestly. What do you reckon, internet? Um, no, yeah, it's got to be the, yeah, they, no, they, they had mobile phones. So it's CD player. It, it doesn't feel right. So Japan fought a war against Russia pre-World War One. Maybe pre-World War II. Maybe both wars, honestly. Who doesn't like to fight with Russia? Um, the furthest north city is Sapporo. Japan's legislature is, funnily enough, called the Diet. And Mizukai, I do not know. So I think he probably made Cowboy Bebop, because that's famous. So he didn't make Poinyard. You no, know maybe he didn't make Cowboy Bebop. I don't know any of these three things. I haven't ever watched this. Uh, the population of Japan is about 127 million. And I bet their most popular sport is baseball. Uh, that is my final answer. Hey! We did everything besides the mobile phone. That was that was incorrect. Um, I, I switched last second. I was like, yeah, they sound like they're quirky enough to do that. But Japanese people probably hate talking to each other. And the Mongols invaded. But yeah, we got ourselves a big, big margin up there. Average score is 10. Beat 90% of people. I'm officially a weeb now, chat. You proud of me? So, um, by the way, thank you to all my patrons who allow me to drink things like Fahurst. This is a soda that claims it is literally alive. Wait, can you can you see correctly? This is a soda that claims to be alive. And so, uh, this sounds like a bit of sponsored product placement. I just like weird drinks and lobster rolls and kebabs. Oh, it got right in my eyes. Mmm. Committing murder with every sip. So, um, let's move on next to the FIFA World Women... Okay, FIFA World Cup winners. Really easy. Um, you just guess Italy a bunch of times. Oh, you can't do that. Okay, no idea. Um, countries A to Z by neighbor. Um, Namibia borders, well, they border a lot of countries. Oh, it borders one A country. So they border Angola. Netherlands borders Belgium. Bolivia borders Chile. It would be surprising to learn not. Um, Dr. Congo. Oh, you know, don't, don't make me type it. D, so Ethiopia borders, oh, Djibouti. Probably doesn't border Dr. Congo. Honduras borders Ecuador. No, it borders El Salvador. Nah. Uh, <laughs> so you can just make really wild guesses. Russia borders France, but it more importantly, it definitely does, trust me. And it also borders Finland. Suriname borders Guyana. Uh, Ukraine borders the H country. Uh, on the west? No, on the north? Um, Holodomor? Uh, high, high... You know, Ukraine, I know about your worst famine. I know about... I know about a lot of things about your country. I don't know what the H country is. On the west, I guess if they border Poland, they probably border Hungary, but that feels wrong. Am I, why, how is Ukraine all the way up there? Am I, am I, is my European geography all messed up? Uh, Slovenia borders Italy, which makes it the most west of the Yugoslavians. Iraq borders Jordan. Tajikistan borders Kyrgyzstan, which is a mess to spell. Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan. God damn it, I know it borders it. Kazakhstan, maybe, though, is what it's going for. Kazakhstan. Um, you, how do you spell Kyrgyzstan? I need to, I can't do this. Um, Kyrgyzstan, Kyrgyzstan. I can't do it. Okay. K-Y, I'm reading chat now. R-G-Y-R E-Stan. There we go. That's very easy to do, as you can see. Uh, China borders, um, Laos. Brunei borders Malaysia. I have to really catch up now. Costa Rica borders, um, Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Oh, God. Nicaragua. Oh, God. Don't know my countries. Saudi Arabia borders Oman. Po uh, Lithuania borders Poland. Saudi Arabia borders Qatar. Again. Tanzania borders Rwanda. Uh, that, was, that wasn't even trying at that point. Um, Ru uh, Uganda borders um, the country just the north of it. Ireland borders the UK. Cambodia borders Vietnam. Oman borders Yemen. South Africa borders Zambia. Zimbabwe, rather. Um, Burkina Faso borders uh, Togo. Uganda borders uh, just to the west of it over there 
is um oh god my brain's blanking what's the end country um uh, sudan maybe is it that's a little too south sudan um south sudan yes and then n is uh it, 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 i i got 25 i got all of these right can we agree on that chat i i, ta I can't spell nicaragua <laughs> i it doesn't come up often enough for me to need to spell it and i missed my first flawless today uh 88 percent of people get it and i am one of them but not by not by this metric Next up, we have Country Picture Puzzle Game. Answer the questions, reveal pieces of a hidden country, then guess the country. What does that mean? So, New Ze uh, Maori people are from New Zealand. Oh, that's fun. Mount of Heads of four US presidents is uh, Mount Rushmore. Capital of Belarus is Minsk. Country that has longest coastline is... This is fun. I like this. I I okay, let's try and guess it with the fewest countries, though. That's the game. Country of the longest... So, I'll, I'll go for one down here. Capital of Catalonia is Barcelona. That, okay, so... It's somewhere in Africa. I'm gonna have to guess. This is Angola. I'm gonna go for it. Oh, okay. We'll go for it. We'll go for one more. Big Ben is a type of clock. No, it's a type of tower. Because it's not the clock. It's the... Whatever. Uh, salty... Okay, so we'll go for... A city formerly known as Bombay. Mumbai. Um... Oh, yeah. So, it's not... It's not... It's gonna be Congo then, right? No, okay. I'm getting the... You know, we'll just we'll just keep trying again. Biggest gambling city in the US. Las Vegas. Macau. Okay, so there's... I just got a random sea chunk there. Longest river in Europe is the Danube, I want to say. If it's not the Danube, God knows what it is. Um, city of the most famous red square is Moscow. Thank you for the square there. Uh, country of the longest coastline in the world is Norway on a technicality. Otherwise, maybe Canada. Um... Where are we at? I this this is a fun one. Um, so it's got a country to the north like that. It could be. It's not going to be Serbia because it's got a lot of coastline. Um, biggest lake in Africa by South Carolina is Victoria. I want to say. Um, thank you for the ocean. This is Africa, right? I'm just. Am I on the wrong part of Africa? Am I? Am I in South America? Maybe. Oh yeah, it's Peru. Yeah, I was thinking like, the whole time I was like, it's got to be Africa. But the moment I started thinking it's a different constant, it came in clearly. Because it could be West Africa, but no country looks like that. It's Peru. Good job. We did it. Did, do, there's, there's no scoring on this one, though, because it's a featured quiz. And I I, I got... I, I didn't, Oh, wait, I have to get all the rest of the right questions anyway? Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so that's why there's no scoring. So Big Ben is uh, a, a country, a canal, and a hat. A country, a canal, and a hat? Longest river in Europe is... Uh, it's going to be the Ural River, then. Okay, it's not the Russian one. It's not the European one. Um, oh, I messed this up. I should have been... I didn't realize I had to get them all. Um, I got 11. The least likely answer was not Peru. People don't know Bell. Bill, Big Ben isn't a Bell, though. Or is Big Ben the Bell? I'm not sure. Also, the Volga River. Uh, oopsie. The, we could have done better. I didn't... <laughs> okay. Category elimination, can, uh, capital cities. Name any answer which matches the first category to reveal the second cap. Oh, that's fun. Okay, so when we get capitals in Asia... Wait, no, I don't get it. Um, then name any answer which applies to both categories to reveal a third. So we have to name any capital. So we name Beijing, for example, right? And then it has to have at least 2 million people. So we say Beijing. And then we say which contains the letter K. And then we have to pick a new capital. So, uh, the capital of um, Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur. It's How do you spell Kuala? It's got to be an A. Lumpur. Um, which starts with a vowel. Um, so, how many countries start? Okay, so that's interesting. So, now we can move to blue just to test things. Capitals are fewer than 1 million people. You go with, like, uh, Reykjavik, but way easier to type would be, like, I don't know, Oslo. No, apparently more than 1 million people. You go with something simple, like Helsinki. No, it's got just over a million people. You go with a nice simple one, uh, you pick um, Monaco, that are not in Africa or Asia. So you pick Monaco again. Which are in the Eastern Hemisphere, you pick Monaco again. With exactly eight letters in their name. Monaco. No. Um, so now you got to go for... This is why picking different one probably help. Uh, Canberra, right? Canberra. Yeah. Whose country starts with a vowel? Canberra. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I nailed it. So capitals containing the letter A. Uh, Washington is an easy one. Washington. 
Uh, this this is a fun one. Washing ten, with an average elevation about one million one thousand m. Oslo. Okay, where where is a high up cat? Wait wait, La Paz, which are in Africa. Ah, oh, you've screwed me now. Um, <laughs> okay, so there's thirteen capitals above a thousand meters in Africa. How is that possible? Cape Town? No, it's got to be Johannesburg. Um, don't know how to spell it. Well, let spell check get me here. Is that is that good? Not correct answer. What is high up in Africa? I do not know my high up capitals. So capitals in the southern hemisphere. Um, wait, I Johannesburg. <laughs> we'll go with Canberra then, if you insist. That are not in Oceania. So Johannesburg, but that's hard. So we'll go for um, Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires. Whose country is landlocked, so that has to be landlocked countries in the south southern hemisphere. There aren't that many of them, right? Because they're all islands and stuff. Um, landlocked countries in the Southern Hemisphere. Genuinely like Laos? So what's the capital of Laos? Oh no, I don't know the answer. And it's also not in the Southern Hemisphere, I don't think. Um, so um, country letter starts with a vowel, has more than 2 million people with K. So um, countries that start with a vowel with big capital cities in Asia. Um, that would be Thailand has Bangkok, right? But that's that's a T. Um, Cambodia, the capital of Cambodia is God. God, if I know, uh, the capital of the oh no, I don't know many. Okay, Iran. I know Iran is Tehran, but it doesn't contain the letter K. Um, there's Oman, and their capital is Muscat, which doesn't contain the letter K. There's um, Iraq, and their capital is Baghdad. Doesn't contain the letter K. Um, yeah, okay, so um, we have to we have to keep trying. Country is not landlocked in the southern hemisphere. Ca cap okay, we'll just we'll, we'll go for Astana. That's capital of no. Nope. Um, so high up cities in Africa. Um, also Baku. Sorry, that's a chat one, but that's good. Lies west of Dubai. Baku, uh, country not landlocked um, in the southern hemisphere. How are, there aren't 11 uh, landlocked countries in the Southern Hemisphere, are there? I don't know them. I do not know any... Okay, so Lesotho, East of Honey's capital, uh, Lesotho. What is the capital of Lesotho? I didn't... I don't... See, this is this is a thing I'm going to learn, and it's going to be useful. So it's got to be... Oh, La Paz! Oh, wait. Whose country is landlocked? One sec. La Paz... La Paz is not a landlocked country. Oh, it is a landlocked country. Bolivia doesn't have coastline. I'm sorry, Bolivia. I didn't know. I would have helped. I didn't. I didn't know that. Should we start a fundraiser to get Bolivia a coastline? Is that is that what I'm saying? See, this is a useful fact. Bolivia is so close to the, so close to the coast, but doesn't have one. And we've just we've all been an, an Asmara. What? It, which capital is Asmara? I genuinely do not know. Um, that seems like a hard one to get. So we did. Um, we did slightly better than average again, which, you know, is, for a geography channel, very concerning, really, if you think about it. So Eritrea is a Smara. Never would have gotten that. Genuinely very tricky. So yeah, uh, the, the, learning all the capital cities, useful thing to do for specifically this quiz. Next up, we've got US state capitals. Oh, God. I have to do it, but I don't know any of them. Blood pumping organ, motor company. Carson City? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> a motor company? Ford? What is a blood pumping organ that's a motor company? General Motors? Um, okay, so... Uh, Jousters... Okay, I don't know any of these. I don't know American state capitals. Small and large stone. Uh, wealthy plus French for world. <laughs> descendant of Israel plus... Nay. So, uh, descendant of Israel is an Israelite. Nay. A nay Israelite. Opposite of pro plus cable or a string. Uh, does anyone know it? Okay, face card plus closest star to Earth. So, face card, King Moon. Yeah, no, it's King Sun. King Sun. Um, Queen Sun? Ace Sun? Jackson. Jackson! Yeah. Okay, so we just gotta, we gotta treat him. We don't know American capitals. We can do it. Um, so... Uh, a baton, baton Rouge is uh, Louisiana. Uh, Naco sodium, bigger than a pond. Lake, yeah, like 
Sodium Lake Large Town. Salt Lake City. Ah, really? Okay. Homer's catchphrase down under. Do? <laughs> Not under. Do over. Dover? Oh, where's that? Like Connecticut or something? Um, bag, male sheep. Okay, bag, ram, fresh make a mint. This is, this is maddening. This is not geography. I don't know what I've ended up on, but I, okay. Um, so, <laughs> um, male sheep is a ram, right? So bag, ram, bag, bag, ram. Uh, foot digit is a toe, summit, peak. So toe peak, toe peak, uh, toe peak, uh. Uh, I know that's like one of the weird Western state ones. Topeka. Topeka? Oh, Topeka. It's like New Mexico, maybe? I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe the, uh, that weird state over there. Um, the, 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 the tribal one? Maybe, I don't even know. Male child, use one's eye. So, boy, C. Boise, Indiana. Uh, Boise, Idaho, sorry. More than most prohibit leg joint. So... What does that even mean? Survi supervisor plus two pounds, two thousand pounds. I think a thousand pounds is a ton, right? Or maybe two thousand is a ton. So a manager ton? I really don't know. Um, not outgoing at all, plus Queen Berlin. Um, <laughs> okay, Ann Arbor, right? No, Ann Arbor would not be it. You know, maybe, maybe that's it. What is, so yeah, Ann, Apple, Ann Apple. Not more, less. Annapolis. Annapolis. Minneapolis. Minneapolis. How do you spell that? Let's, let's... Uh, I, I did it so... Mini... Minneapolis. What's the... What's the... I have to Google Maps it. Okay. How do you spell Minneapolis? Mini... Okay, I'm really stupid. That's how. Um... <laughs> um... Polis. Is that not it? Minneapolis. Oh, no, I was, okay, that's not like, I think that is a state capital, right? Um, okay, I have no idea. This is, who knows state capitals in America? Like, why would you need to know state capitals in America besides your state anyway? Search our, okay, so one of them is, I'll just know state capitals I know. In a, in a, it's, it's San, uh, it's, uh, yeah, I don't know any of this. Uh, Vernal Season plus Meadow. That's a Springfield. What's it, what is it? I just, I just, I want to know. Annapolis? Where is Annapolis? I thought it was Minneapolis. See, I, I, I solved the whole thing. And then I didn't realize that Annapolis, Maryland on the Chesapeake Bay. You know, this is dumb. Who needs to know about Annapolis? You need to know about Baltimore or Washington or Arlington or Alexandria. Does anyone need to know about Annapolis? Should I visit Annapolis? Is that what you're saying, internet? I, I, this is, this was silly. I, I refuse. <laughs> The average score is 11. Who knows Hartford? I don't... What is that? Lansing? Sacramento? I, see, I thought I'd get that, but I... Oh, Mento. Okay, I see it. So Topeka, I'm pretty proud of. I should be proud of Phoenix, apparently. But I, I couldn't get it. So next up, we have three and four-letter trees. <laughs> and then cap countries by capitals and borders. Guess a capital to fill in a country and all the countries at borders. Can you fill in a world map in 90 seconds? This is all about speed more than anything else. Richmond is the last one. You know, I don't know how anyone gets them. I don't know how they get them, but congratulations if you did. Okay, this final one uh, is about speed. We don't have to do islands, only major land masses. So let's go. Um, we're going to start with the tiny islands that are going to be hardest. And then we'll work our way to the big ones because they're easy. So uh, Port Al Prince is Haiti, which means we get that whole island. Uh, London is both UK and Ireland, and also Spain. Uh, so we need Lisbon now. So we need Paris, which gets us, whoa, we get really big out there. Then we get Washington to get all of North America. We get uh, Stockholm to get all of Scandinavia. Uh, we go for Moscow just because it borders too many countries. We go for Beijing because they border too many countries. Um, then we go for the capital of um, like Thailand. Bangkok, because they border a lot. Then then Indonesia's capital is Jakarta. Uh, that gives us three. So now we go through Africa. We go Pretoria, because it's easier to type than Johannesburg. We go for La Paz, because I had to type that recently. It's nice and easy. Um, Montevideo is just going to get us one, but we might as well get it out there. Montevideo. Um, 
So we'll go for Mexico, just because I think they border a couple of those. Yes, they do. Um, Panama's capital is Panama, which is a nice, easy one. Then we've got um, Quito for Ecuador. We've got uh, Suriname's capital. I don't know it. Venezuela's capital, I really should know. Uh, Curaco? No, it's... Uh, my brain's blanking on it. So we'll go for... Okay, we've got speed. Speed. No no time. Um, we got to go for um, Bucharest. Okay, we got to go really speedy now. Um, we got to go Cairo. We got to go. Um, oh God, I'm, I'm blanking on the. It's on the spot. This is way harder. Like I need to. I need to restart this one. Internet. Okay, so resume, restart, untimed. Okay, let's let's restart this one. We we got to think about speed more than we think about efficiency. No efficiency or speed. So port out Prince. Sure. Washington. Sure. Washington. Uh, then we go Moscow. And then we go for Beijing. Oh, look at how much better we do that way. And then we go for London and Paris and uh, Lisbon and Bucharest. And then we go for Riyadh uh, to get the Middle East covered as much as we can. And then we go for Tehran. And then we go for um, Israel's capital is Tel Aviv. Um, we're going to do La Paz just while we're here anyway. Um, and then we're going to do uh, Caracas. That's what it is. And then we're going to go for uh, Pretoria again. We're going to go for Cairo on the north. We're going to go for um, like a nice easy one. Dr. Congo's capital is uh, Kinshasa. Kinshasa. Um, then on the east there, Ethiopia's is... Uh, oh, D Djibouti's capital is just Djibouti. Uh, nice easy one. Panama is a good one. Oh man, this is this is like really well timed, huh? Uh, Stockholm didn't get me Denmark, so we go for Copenhagen. Um, make sure we get that in there. Then we're going to go for Vienna to make sure we get some more Europe in there. There's a whole bunch of... Okay, Senegal, uh, the capital. Gambia is just going to be Gambia. No, what is it? I don't know. The West African capitals. Um, Lagos. Um, that's that's not a capital. Um, okay, that's not a capital. I should have... Um, Malaysia. Um, wait, Singapore. No. Okay, Jakarta. Uh, just uh, Bangkok. Oh, man, we just... That is hard. That is just such a such a one so hard to to zoom through effectively, uh, in my opinion. We really have to hit West Africa. You can't leave that many countries on the table. So you just need to know Mali's capital and then like expand out from there. You need to get a Central American capital. This is this is genuinely a speed typing one. You need to really zoom through it and speed. I, I like that. And I, I feel like it's a really good mix of knowledge and speed. I, I kinda like it actually. It's kind of fun. So companies A to Z. Probably not geography. Birds by picture. And this is what I'm talking about. Hummingbird. <laughs> um, that's a king penguin, right? Oh, it's not. I don't know my penguins. That's a bald eagle. That's a night owl. That's a pelican right there. That's an owl. That's a crow. Oh, an American crow. That's a turkey. What type of penguin is that? I don't know it. That's a parrot. Or a scarlet macaw. That's a seagull. Um, you know what? Internet, we're on, we're on the bird channel now. That's a goose. Uh, you're proud of my goose knowledge. That's a puffin. Very cute little silly faces. Uh, that's a, that's gonna be like an emu, one of those really stupid birds. That's a duck. It's not a duck. Oh, it's a mallard duck. That's a... <laughs> no idea. Um, this is a blue jay. Um, this is a... You know, cardinal. You know, I'm go I'll go with cardinal. Oh, the red one's the cardinal. Yeah, yeah. I know that because a lot of teams are named after it. And the type of penguin... No one knows. Okay, this is as good as I'm getting. I feel like I'd get this one eventually, maybe. And this this looks like something I should know. But I don't know it. So, on average, people know exactly as much about birds as I do. Emperor Penguin, Quetzaval, Condor, and the Roadrunner. That's what a Roadrunner looks like. That's fun. So, yeah, I got, I, got the, I got most of the good ones and then a bad one. Okay, back to geography. Most visited countries by popes. <laughs> okay, UK, right? The UK never? Oh, right, we're not Catholic, technically. So, uh, the Pope must visit Catholic countries. Ireland? Never, wow. Uh, he visits Portugal? All the time, I bet. Spain? All the time. France? All the time. Germany? Never. Oh, okay, Fritz Switzerland? Does he just, does he not believe in plane travel or something? Um, what's the most Catholic country? If he hasn't, if he hasn't been to the Philippines, gonna be disappointed in him. Hey, of course he's been to the Philippines. Uh, the USA? Poland. Oh, of course it's Poland. I, there was a Polish Pope at one point. Um, France, Portugal, Belgium. If he's gone to Belgium, okay, thank God. No no Belgish Pope visits. 
Um, Israel. <laughs> Good guess. <laughs> um, okay, so it's got to be European focus, but big Catholic countries outside of there is Mexico. Um, all of Latin America, honestly. So Brazil, Argentina, uh, Chile, maybe. Um, uh, he has, he's not going to Venezuela. Not during the current times. So a lot of European countries are going to be on this. So like Romania, never. He's been to Poland, though, so he's probably gone just on the way there, you know. Like, why not go to Czechia? Just see what's happening. Um, you know, just check it out on the way back home. So go to Sweden. No, I think all of Northern Europe has um, gone away from the Pope's belief. Um, so similar amount of visits to... Maybe he goes to China. <laughs> Maybe not. Just, just for fun, you know. Uh, maybe he's gone to Australia. I bet Australia would go down well, which means New Zealand is a good bet, which means Canada is also a good bet, because you're all the way in the US anyway. He doesn't go to Canada. He visits the US, and he doesn't bother taking a visit to his friends nearby. Um, so Austria, good guess. Slovakia, I think we tried it, but we'll try it again. Is Serbia, I could see? Nope, not Serbia. Not Turkey or Greece. Maybe Greece, but they're orthodox. So... It's not Eastern Europe. It's not Northern Europe. It's that specific overlap in, in Southwest there. Um, what other countries are super Catholic, honestly? I, I don't know if I could name any. Um, I'll, I'll go with Croatia because he likes the coastline. Um, and they're, yep, they're on there. Which means we now have to guess Bosnia. No, not Bosnia. You wouldn't guess Bosnia. Serbia, though. Um, so Kosovo, just to support their independence. Uh, which they, of course, don't have. Um... So if he's gone to Croatia, he's probably going to Slovenia, I guess. Nope, he goes to Croatia without crossing Slovenia somehow. Um, so Albania might be really Catholic, but I doubt it. So outside of Europe, it's you just got to keep guessing South American countries, really, don't you? You just got to go like Brazil. I already got Brazil. You got to go with like Colombia. No way he's visited. He's got to, it's got to be major countries. South Africa, shot in the dark here. No. Who who is the Pope visiting? Singapore? I mean I'd go to Singapore a lot. So yeah, San Marino is a really fun guess from chat, but I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. Okay, yeah, that's that's as good as I'm getting. Um Cuba. The Pope is going to Cuba? What? Israel? I thought you were joking, Kat. I, I thought that was a hilarious joke. What's he doing in Turkey? If he's in Turkey and Israel, and you know what? I am beyond confused. Uh, I got 14. The average is 13. Be again, my exact trend. Okay, this one's going to be much harder. Remove letters from countries. Can we get them all? Yes, I can. Jamaica, right? Uh, Senegal. Andorra. Pakistan. Uh, Pakistan. Oh, my God. Um, so... Al okay, starts with a Q. Second letter Q. So, it's got to be like a squa... What is that? What is that? I don't even know. Um, so B, my aunt. This is my aunt, right? Going a bit controversial on that one. Then we got. Okay, so this is Cuba. This is Mali. This is oh god, I don't. I. Uh, it's so hard. What has that many letters in it? I. I don't even know. So this is Bla B Belain. Bla okay, it's, it's got to be Bala. Bala. It's got to be an A, right? Or a Bolivia. Bolivia. Um, oh. Boli... Boli... Bo... Le... Okay, can't get it. Um, so, this is Poland. This is... Starts of... Second letter Y, Syria. Um, I have a builder from Syria. Uh, he's very... Uh, oh, so this is... Okay, it has three A's. It's got to be like... Um, Baham... Bah... Ha... Baham... Oh, but it has CR at the end? Very lost. Um, yeah, I... Uh, oh, man. I Three A's in a name. Ah, it's like Bahaka. Maka. Wait, Madagascar. Madagascar. Um, oh, gosh. Um, okay, so... Starts, has a Y in there somewhere. I, I don't, see, it starts so easy. It, it lures you into a false sense of security before tricking you. So this is train, tran, tran Y. This is Bran, Brundi, Brunei, Brunei. Um, this is pa, 
Casal. Okay. So there's gonna be like a nice Nordic country in here to keep us keep us humble. Um, so like Laos, Cambodia. Okay, it has a K in it somewhere. It's there's a there's a country with a K in it somewhere. Okay, let's let's just go to the hardest one. What countries are made up of two letters? Very about uh, two words. There's only a few. There's Equatorial Guinea. Um, is that is that's like one of like Papua New Guinea and Equatorial Guinea are the only ones that come to my brain. Um, then we've got Bolivia. No, Bol Bol. Belain, bel, 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 okay, I don't know it. Where's Laos? It's, it looks like that should be Laos, but it's not. Um, yeah, okay, I thought I was going to nail this, but... Okay, let's just go for a nice easy one. It's got... Sin Argentina. Uh, nope. I can... Okay, I don't... Don't know. I don't know what... Okay. Yemen. Oh, man. So, uh, Tong Tonga. Any of these look like a Tonga? Th that looks like a Tonga to me. <laughs> okay, what, what, what did we miss? I need to know. Liechtenstein? Ugh. Gabon slash Samoa. Oh, there was two and I didn't get it. Liberia and Nigeria, Romania and Syria. Uh, sorry, Romania and Somalia. That's crazy there are multiple countries and I still didn't get either of them. We did exactly average on this one, or 60%, beating 47.1% of test takers. Nice. Geographic analogies won. Oh, gosh. Ah, uh, okay. We'll try. So Edinburgh is to Scotland, as Cardiff is to Wales. Jakarta is to Java, as Honolulu is to the Big Island. <laughs> uh, Hawaii? No, Honolulu is... What's the name of that, that, that island? I just don't know it. Chicago is to Michigan, as Cleveland is to Ohio. No, Cleveland... Chicago is Michigan's... Is a nearby big state to Michigan, as Cleveland is to a nearby big state to New York, maybe? No. Sign is to Paris, as Thames is to London. Elbus is to Africa, is to Europe, as something is to Africa. Uh, the Nile. Man, this is, this is, this is hard. Utah is to Colorado, as Manitoba is to Saskatchewan. Wait, to the right. Yeah, Manitoba would be Saskatchewan's right estate. Utah is to Colorado as... Okay, I don't know. Macau... Hong Kong is to the United Kingdom as Macau is to Portugal. Um, Ankara is to a Turkey as Brasilia is to Brazil. Okay, we'll go for the easy ones. Lesotho is to South Africa as San Marino is to Italy. Um, Seattle is to Washington, the biggest city, as Detroit is to Michigan. Yeah, I'm on there now. Babylon is to... <laughs> uh, where is Babylon? I It's somewhere in the Middle East. Saudi Arabia? No, it's going to be further north. Lebanon? I could see it being Lebanon. Syria? It's not going to be Israel. Iran? Should we just guess Saudi Arabia? You know what? Saudi Arabia. Nope. Okay, so Hainan is to China, that little island, as uh, Tasmania is to Australia. Everest is to the Himalayas, the biggest one, as Mont Blanc is to the Alps. Yeah. Peking is to Beijing, as Bombay is to Mumbai. 1980 is to Mount St. Helens, as 1883 is to Kilimanjaro. I don't even know. Okay, so Cyprus is to the Mediterranean, as Jamaica is to the Caribbean. Is that how you spell Caribbean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Russia is to the Soviet Union, as Serbia is to Yugoslavia. Okay, this is... I'm, I'm getting there now. Um, so, Espana is to Spain, as Deutschland, 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 über alles. Um, so, Sigmund Freud is to Vienna, as Louis Armstrong is to France, um, United States. Where's Louis Armstrong from? Is the, he's the spaceman, right? Is he not the is he not the spaceman? Where is he from? Oh, maybe he's from Okay, a two two letter city then. Washington, DC. No, it's small than big. Um so yeah, I think I don't I'm not gonna know what Elbrus is. Chicago is the biggest city that borders Michigan, maybe, but I don't think it does border Michigan. So Cleveland is the biggest city in a state that borders also Michigan. 
Um, Utah is to Colorado. They're next door. Oh, Utah is west of Colorado. So we want to go for Alberta. Yeah. Um, I... Chicago is to Michigan as Cleveland is to... I'm never going to get it. I'm never going to get it. Thank you very much, by the way, for uh, Enderstaff becoming a uh, channel member. Okay. Louis Armstrong. Who knows? 1883. Don't know a mountain. Denali is to Mount McKinley. Okay. So Denali is a person as Uluru is to... Oh, it's, it's, the, it's the Australian mountain. So I don't know the mountain range it's in there. So we give up at 13. We got exactly average. Oahu. Kilimanjaro, I was going to type it in for the wrong question, but I would have gotten it. Damn it. Also, Louis Armstrong's from New Orleans. My bad. So yeah, thank you very much, End of Star. If you want to know something fun, I um, oh, I don't have my YouTube. Oh, it's over here. So if you want to see something fun, um, I actually can't show you something fun. I can't actually end the stream because YouTube has the, uh, I have to verify on me, but that's going to, can't really do that on live stream. But um, yeah, I, uh, if you want to know something fun, the also Cleveland is too eerie. Why is Cleveland eerie? You uh, people know their likes better than me, apparently. But um, yeah, the uh, it's uh, I appreciate uh, you you learning, you coming through, and uh, you watching a bunch of quizzes today. Which is why I'm doing one more. Yeah, you think it's rolling down? I'm doing one more quiz. Middle East map. Let's go. This is Turkey. This is Cyprus. This is Egypt. This, I'm, I'm just speed running through it all. This is Iraq. Uh, this is, uh, it looks like Djibouti, but it's, uh, it's the Middle East, Djibouti, Kuwait. This is Saudi Arabia. This is Yemen. Not to be mistaken with Oman. Not to be mistaken with the UAE. Not to be mistaken with Qatar. Uh, big boy country. Not to be mistaken with Bahrain. Then we got, next to Israel is Jordan. Then we got around Israel, which is Palestinian territories. That's controversial. Oh, around... So I guess this is Palestinian territories. That was Israel. I'll go, you know, I had a perfect run here, internet. Then then that's not Israel. That's Lebanon. So that's Syria. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> I had 100%. I just had got Israel and Palestine mixed up because I have strong beliefs about the Middle East. Anyway, I um, thank you for all for coming along. I, um, I, I'm glad that you I appreciate the, uh, the tip at the end there. I appreciate you coming along for a bunch of quizzes. Um, I had a lot of fun doing it. Might just do this again. Might be a, a semi-regular thing. Just a just a fun fun time fun time hanging out, doing some stuff. But speaking of having fun and hanging out, I, I do I definitely will be focusing on uh, the Nordic countries soon. And indeed, I I kind of am trying to like mix up because I love talking about Europe. It's like uh, it's it's definitely where my focus always comes back to. So I'm trying to mix up by making sure we cover at least another continent here and there. So I went South America heavy. I think we'll go Southeast Asia heavy for a bit. And then in between those, we'll go for fun European breaks. Maybe it'll be fun. Maybe it won't be fun. Either way, I hope you all enjoyed this one. And uh, yeah, I'd show you how many members I have. But uh, for now, if you want to buy me more drinks that are alive, consider becoming a channel member or a Patreon or whatever it is you do to show you support things. And uh, yeah, I feel like this channel, uh, the, the, the regularity of uploads has been going up and down a lot. So rather than having that fun, irregular schedule, I want to try and go to a more consistent Every week on Monday, you'll see a video here. Who knows when on Monday, but you look forward to that. If you've, if you've been missing the consistency, thank you to everyone. And as always, second channel.